my husband and I were sitting around one night and I saw these glasses made out of wine bottles. Loved them. So I said, I want these. Birthday, Christmas, anniversary, because it's Friday. Whatever reason you need to get me something, I want these glasses. And he looked at me and said, oh no, I'm not ordering those. I can make that. So that became the challenge. Okay, make them then. So it started out as him just making a set of glasses to prove me wrong, um, and then neighbors and friends came by to see him. They loved him, had to have a set, so we started making them some, and then it kind of spread from there. It started as a hobby, um, but again, when we started getting the restaurants on board, mm -hmm. uh, we started selling these. Uh, we sell them through Facebook. We also have. Um, our products at Yoga in Common and Market Common, so people can actually look at them and hold them and, and see um, what they this are. This made specifically for one of the yoga instructors at Yoga in Common. She saw them, had to have them, and, and, and actually, uh, Sean was drinking out of one, and she's like, I have to have a set of those. I don't care how much they are. I want them. So, uh, so it's, it's been pretty good. Again, we are just getting started with this. We had to start enlisting the help of the restaurants. That's when it really became more of an environmental issue for us. When we, we talked to our restaurant owner friends, and they're like, oh, yeah, we just throw our glass out. Mm -hmm. and we go by and pick them up. Um, every restaurant that we work with, and we work with about five right now, uh, we schedule pickup times. Sometimes it's twice a week, sometimes it's once a week, depending on what they need. Um, but we go by and we pick up the glass from them. Um, they just store it in the back or throw it in a cardboard box and, and we just come get it and take it away for them. So. Grey Goose glasses. Um, we cannot keep those. The other would be the Save Our Shore Abita beer glasses. Um, the Abita Brewing Company made a special brew that every dollar or every bottle that's sold, they donate a dollar to help the Gulf Wildlife Fund. Mm. Those glasses were back ordered on those. Mm. So, those are the two popular. Mm. All right, well, the first thing we have to do um, is we have to soak a bottle and get the label off. Mm -hmm. So, before it can be cut, this has to be removed. Um, as much of the glue has to be taken off as possible. Um, and then, of course, cleaned out and soaked. So, first thing is to clean it off. Then, when we have it ready to go, um, we figure out how long we want to make it. Typically, Jameson makes a great scotch glass. So, we cut it at four inches. We use a process called cold working, um, and cold working with glass is where you cut and polish the glass as opposed to heating the glass. Um, we picked cold working because there are so many things that we can do, um, cut different things. Um, this is a special saw just for glass, um, and it is very low energy usage. Um, hot working takes a lot of energy. I've seen the, the wine bottles that are made where the, they're melted down and made into cheese trays. Mm. But to do that, you have to heat a kiln at 1,700 degrees for over four hours. And that's just sucking up the energy. So that's not as green to us as cold working. So that's why we fix cold working. Um, here.
just been cut. It's, it's still, it's not going to cut you. Mm. Um, it's very smooth, but this is still not drinkable. Okay. Um, we have a, a, about a 10 step polishing process where we'll take this piece now. Again, it's cold working, so it's with water. finished Jameson glass looks like. Again, completely polished, very smooth. Um, you absolutely will not cut yourself on it. Um, and it makes a perfect rocks glass. This is one of our new experiments. Um, it's a pendant light. Um, you would hang it from your ceiling um, over a bar um, made out of reclaimed wine bottles. Because we had with so many orders. Um, again, we try to use as much of the glass as possible. Whatever we don't use, we do recycle. But we try to use every part of the bottle. Um, point in case, this is a Patron bowl made out of a hand-blown Patron bottle. The top is also now a candlestick holder. So, originally this is how it went. Now this is how we use it. Bowls and candlestick holders. And again, the thing that really got this started was the wine bottle glasses. Um, the punts of the wine bottles are just fantastic. They add stability to a glass. Mm -hmm. um, when you tip it over, it's, it's very thick glass, so it's not something that's going to shatter easy. Um, good weight to it, substantial. <laughs> One of my favorite glasses. Um, so it's your groovy green glass. <laughs> made out of a wine bottle. Um, and one of the other things that we started finding is we were getting a lot of the corks from the wine bottles. Mm -hmm. So we started making keychains, um, wine bottle stoppers mm -hmm. out of the corks. Um, and then that has actually expanded into jewelry now. Um, we'll take the top of a wine bottle cut the ring off. This was actually the first liquor bottle he ever cut. Um, he cut the top off for me and that's my necklace. Uh, this is the Jaeger bottle. Um, we cut it in half, polished it off. Um, it makes an excellent spoon rest. Um, I took the label off, sealed it to the back so that it would stay on there forever even if it got wet. And makes a great addition to any kitchen.